Hello, what is FaceCorrect PWM and Fast PWM in an AVR microcontroller and what is the difference? Here we see an AVR microcontroller, an 80 Mega 328, connected to an LED display showing us the current value of the output compare register which is controlled with a potentiometer through the analog to digital converter. I can change it and uh, it goes up to 255 and down to zero. And I use this to control the output compare value of an 8-bit PWM in timer one. And what we see here on the oscilloscope is actually the yellow curve which corresponds to the output compare value in the on the display here so if i turn it down to zero then we get very narrow pulses if i turn it all the way up to 255 we get very wide pulses and even disappearing pulses because at 255 it would be constantly high so if we go here to the middle somewhere then we can also see that we have a duty cycle of about 50 percent and uh, the blue channel here is a reference. It's the second PWM channel on the same timer. And this is set to a fixed 40 as a compare value, 40 out of 255. So our timer starts counting from zero to 255. The pulses start when the counter starts to count from zero and they end when the compare value is reached. So right now this one here ends at 124 and 125 and this one ends when the counter reaches 40. And when the counter restarts uh, again after having reached 255 a new pulse is generated. So this is the fast mode PWM. The pulses start when the timer starts to count. Let's have a look what happens if we change to face correct PWM mode and the difference would be that we have a zero in the WGM12 bit. So I compile this code here and after it's finished compiling I will upload it into the microcontroller and let's have a view what we see now on the oscilloscope. On the oscilloscope now we still see narrower blue pulses and wider yellow pulses. So the values are still the same. This is a 40 and this is 124 in the output compare register. But now the pulses are centered in each other. And this is because the pulses are now generated when the counter is counting down and up again. So our counter starts counting from zero here somewhere in the middle and counts up. And when it reaches the compare value as before the pulse ends. So this one here ends when our counter reaches the value 40 and this one when the counter reaches the value 124 but they start not when the timer starts at zero but when the down counting timer actually passes the compare value. So we come from 255 and at this point here our counter has reached 124. A little bit time later the counter has reached 40. So this pulse here starts when we pass the compare value uh, on the way down and this pulse starts when we hit this compare value on the way down. Then here in the middle of these pulses, the counter turns over and restarts from zero counting up. So our pulses end here and here. The ratio of the two widths is still the same. So we have a 48 and a 16% duty cycle, as we can see in the lowest row here on the oscilloscope. What we can also see is that the frequency of the pulses has halved. So it takes twice as long to generate one of these pulses now. Before we had a pulse repetition frequency of 4 kHz, now it's down to 2 kHz.